What's good, your boy CJ Goodfellow? We back with a breakdown prediction video. Uh, maybe one of three today. We got this fight, um, Luke Campbell, you know, Jorge Linares, a very good underrated fight, and uh, Jesse Hart and Gilberto Ramirez Friday. So we get into the money. Um, you know, this is not going to be a conventional breakdown video. Probably none of them going to be um, how I usually break down fights. Um, it's not that I'm changing the format. It's just a simple fact that. Um, not high level fights, you know, um, not a lot of prominent fights. So it, I don't have to really, um, hone in as much and say as much. Um, uh, so it's easy for me to get my point across and, uh, you know, more simpler, but you know, I'm not going to do the strength weaknesses thing. I'm just going to do an over, overview. Um, here you fury start off with him. He the challenger. Um, you know, this fight was supposed to go down for him back in May, but, uh, you know, Peter fury, I think that's his dad. Um, uh, or whoever it is, I know it's Tyson Fury's uncle, so that must be his dad. Um, was couldn't get a visa to over to New Zealand because he had a felony. Uh, so he Fury faked the injury, basically. Now they doing this fight in Manchester in the UK, Manchester Arena. Uh, tickets not selling fast. It's gonna be on YouTube pay per view. Um, tickets not selling fast. Last time I heard, but um, you know that all can change with a colossal win for um, Huey Fury. Um, if you've never seen Huey Fury fight before, and that's another reason why I'm not doing a conventional breakdown. A lot of these guys, people haven't really seen fight. A lot of these guys, you'll be surprised. And, um, you know, casuals are the number one, um, you know, rating mover in, in boxing. So that's why I said that. But Huey Fury, I haven't seen him fight. Um, you know, he's way more fluent, a fluid mover than Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is an unconventional mover. Erky jerky, awkward style, unorthodox, um, good at feints, you know, uses hide and reach well. Um, Huey Fury is similar to that, but without the awkward movement or without the feints. He got good good leg movement. He's a good boxer going backwards. Um, uh, you know, don't use a lot of variety of punches. Um, you know, I'll get into that. Um, but he uses the jab, the straight right hand, and the uppercut. I think the left hand uppercut is his main punches. And then he'd go to the body as well for a taller fighter. But he's an excellent, well-coordinated mover. He looked like a natural mover, um, good head move, mover. Um, probably the best um, upper body movement and leg movement in combination uh, in the heavyweight division. You know, um, he's a fluent leg mover, fluent upper body movement mover. It, it works for him. You know, it looks good. It don't look like he don't look sloppy like Wilder or he don't look uh, like Ortiz where he's um, a plotter with his leg, but he moves his upper body, move up uh, upper body, his legs and his upper body move both well. They work in conjunction with each other, and that's good for him. Um, weak weaknesses as far as him is, um, you know, sometimes he has defensive lapses. And with movers that move a lot of upper body movement, you can dress him up. You know, one of the guys from Ukraine dressed him up early in his career when he was 20, 22 now, with a jab to the chest, and he came over the top and clocked him. He wasn't hurt. But he seems to have a good beard as well. And Joseph Parker, uh, a lot of people, you'd be surprised, haven't seen Joe Joe Parker fight. Um, and I couldn't really figure out what it was about Joseph Parker that he was missing. And I watched film, and I f figured out what it was. He's physically not power powerful enough to be an elite heavyweight in any other era, uh, or even this era. You're talking about Joshua and Wilder. He has the skill. He probably the most skilled heavyweight out there with Luis Ortiz. When you're talking about skills and punch variety, and, um, you know, just overall physical gifts, but he's just not strong enough. He's just not big enough. He's just not powerful enough. That's what's missing, missing with him. He looks small versus Andy Ruiz. He looks small versus that Ronnie guy he just fought back in May instead of Huey Fury. He's physically too small to be an elite heavyweight. There's nothing that he can do about that. He can hit the weight room and get stronger. Um, and that'll probably help his physical strength, but it probably won't increase his power unless he does the right workouts to increase power. And that's th that's all do to do with legs and core. That's how you generate more power. Now with upper body, now with lats, chest, biceps, and tries. Power don't come from there. Come from the floor up. And your core and your legs is very power and very key. He must get he must gain some more weight. I don't know what he weighs in at, but he looks smaller. He must gain some more good weight, muscle weight. He must change his diet. To pack on more carbs and, re and retain more water because that's what muscle was made of. And he just needs to put on more leg weight to generate more power. And he won't get as tired. 
He gassed out versus Parker. He gassed out versus the last guy. He gassed out versus Andy Ruiz as well a little bit. And his issue with him is um is 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 just not being physically strong enough. He has some defensive lapses as well. He will trade with you, but he's a very accurate puncher, very good jab. But the physical strength is the it factor that he's missing. And the defensive lapses that he does do. If he was more disciplined, it didn't trade and get caught as much and move his head a little bit more and don't just lose focus, he'd be a better off fighter. You know, and those are those are his downfalls right there. You know, the defense and the physical and the physical strength and the power. You know, the skills, he got it. The speed, he got it. You know, he can move his head a little bit. Defense elapses, he can shore that up. But he got to start physically, you know, getting bigger. Or think about considering moving down the cruiserweight, which I don't know if he can. He probably can weigh somebody. He might weigh about 220, 230. Probably 220, somewhere in there. But he's just not physically dominant enough, you know. We've seen smaller headweights. Mike Tyson, 220. He was just physically powerful, though. But Parker is just not physically strong enough. And, um... But I don't believe that's going to be a factor in this fight. Um, I believe Parker um, is going to be able to cut the ring off on Huey Fury and make Huey Fury fight. Huey Fury don't like to sit down on his punches. What I've seen. I don't know if he improved with a lot of tape on him, but he can make you miss and make you pay. Um, but if he if he was to sit down on his punches and gain some more respect from Parker, then I, I, I would definitely uh, give him a nod because he seems to have more stamina and more energy than Parker. Um this is definitely a, t- a close fight to um, to say who's going to win. As we speak, I have really not decided. <laughs> but I must have talked my way into something. So I'm going to choose Joseph Parker. Um, unanimous decision. Um, close fight. Uh, I see these people out here that are judging the fight or just judging guys on being aggressive. I understand that he's going to Fury's backyard. And uh, he's going to be the aggressor since they scoring fights like that night. Now, I'm going to get him denied by unanimous decision. Very close, but we gone.